fortunately I have my mama beside me. She really helped me and I, and I have to say thank you so much. And uh, uh, I don't know how can I, I express my, 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 my feeling to my mama. I have also another Afghan with me. Uh, he lived with me in, uh, in her room and we are together. And uh, I had a very bad situation. Now I'm, I'm illegal. I have to go to doctor. I'm a little bit uh, sick. My mama knows uh, what's going on with me. And really I don't have family. And I come here for, uh, in 2008. And I was here for three years. So only eight months I went to school and no longer I choose to for uh, opliding, I don't know, something like this. But after they put me in the Fable 2A and uh, I was there for three months. So the people from Trukhkir, they forced me to just go and uh, I don't know, hand taking or signature for going back to my country. Actually, I'm from Uruzgan in Afghanistan and everybody knows that there is too much problem over there and uh, you know the NATO groups are, uh, I, I don't know how many countries exactly in Afghanistan and uh, still they, they are suffering from the lack of security, even they themselves, they don't, I think they don't just went there because of uh, our benefit, I think because they are afraid from the tourism group or something else they went to just uh, in our country. Actually, we are, we, I like my brothers, Pashtun, Taji was back, we don't have a problem with them. I don't know how they just uh, interfere into our country and it's just, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. We are just... What can you learn from the Somali brothers and sisters? They are very pioneers in this way. They, I must say, I, I must say, I'm very proud of them, and they are very brave. Absolutely, I have seen them in the in the tropel. I was with them in the first day that they uh, they was approaching to the uh, to to start a group of the people to show them that they really need help. It's not help exactly. It is their right. Because the Netherlands, they say the immigration is natural. If it is natural, why they they just uh, they do upside down? They they make something else. This is my my point of view. Thank you. Thank you. It's already the end of the program. I have to tell you some information. But first of all, I think we can conclude. It's not help, it's being together, it's not waiting, it's acting, it's not asking, it's organizing and being together. Afghan people and Somali people and Dutch people and Luxembourg people and all the people together. And I thank you for your contribution. Thank you so much. all to contribute. We have to end the program. So keep it short. Uh, I'm really suffering from uh, uh, from just I, do, I want to say I'm only Afghan that I come wow. here I no more Af Afghan people here actually too much Afghan people they are illegal they are, they live in the other say illegal they they don't have place also Iranian people I have seen one of them and uh, my mama said we, we we it's not just about the refugee people we come here it's only about it's all about uh, Netherland people they themselves so we have a point of uh, in common view I think so we give a hand together to just make a better future for each other okay very good so now the, the poets and the musicians are eager to start playing. We continue the stream, but this is the end of the radio discussion on how to support the struggle of the Somali brothers and sisters living on the street in Holland, and the Afghans, and the Iranians, and the Africans. More information you can find vluchtelingenopstraat.blogspot.com Facebook, Vluchtelingenopstraat. How else can you connect with the brothers and sisters fighting for their life? Marianne. You have to walk on. There's something I want to say. The boy next, sitting next to me is only 18 years old. Huh? 
En de stichting Lido is voor het schilderen, het iets te komen schilderen. Voor 18. 18 en 1 day outside on the street. Because they are uh, adults at the time. Without papers, you can't survive. So. I hope lots of people are going to help and support these, these, these young people on the street. Okay, thank you. Father Sarko, this is the end of the program. Um, I, I just wanted to add uh, about the help. Uh, we got a donation from somebody, and I said thank you very much. Uh, if you're afraid of coming and staying uh, with us in the call, please, you can donate. And already we got a donation from uh, our wish. I will say thank you very much, and uh, we need your help. Thank you very much. Thank you for everybody's contribution. You can hear the program later back in parts of Vluchteling op straat on m 2 mbloodscreentimeorg We'll be back at the next demonstration. Goodbye. Yeah.